Hello friends, uh, welcome to the next session on lines and angles. In the last session, we discussed definitions of line angles and we also discussed about interior and exterior of an angle. In this session, we are going to understand what is meant by measure of an angle. How do we measure an angle and why do we need to measure it in the first place? So, you know that in mathematics, there will be uh, cases where you need to compare and then do some operations on angles. Uh, for example, in arithmetic also, when you need to compare which is greater 2 or 3. So, the quantum, the magnitude of 2 and 3 makes, you know, uh, uh, them comparable. That is, we can very easily say that 2 is less than 3, right? Because there is a magnitude, there is a measure attached to the number. Now, similarly, if we have these angles, for example, this one is the first one and then we have this another one. So, there are two angles here, ABC and DEF, let's say. Now, if the question is, which one is a bigger angle, right? Bigger angle means which is, you know, which is uh, covering more, uh, let's say, interior of an angle. So, let's say uh, the angle which has major area inside the angle or the interior is more we call it a bigger angle so if you see this angle is more than this but then how much more and uh, how do we quantify this so for that we have something called a measure of an angle and we measure the angle in three different ways right so we will be discussing them here and uh, you have also seen during your childhood you or uh, today also you use an, a tool called a protractor protractor to measure the angles isn't it so what you do is you simply uh, you know draw an, for example this is an uh, an angle of abc over here and what you basically do is you take the protractor and put the zero zero and the zero line around a put the zero line around the uh, uh, around the zero uh, line axis isn't it so here is what I am trying to do the same thing. So I am putting this protractor on to 0, 0. Okay. Now, once done, you measure where is the other side pointing. So here we check this one. So if you see, we check this side and this side is coinciding with 40 degrees. So if you see, it starts from 0, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. So it's around 40, right? So what is the unit of this? So the first one, as I told you, there are three systems. We are measuring the angle here in the first system. And this is called sexagesimal system. Sexagesimal system. Where we measure angles in terms of degrees. Okay. In degrees. Degrees are the... So, hence you, you say 20 degrees. Or in this case, we measured 40. And we put a small dot onto the right hand side. Right, 40 degrees. This is how you have you measure angles in sexagesimal systems. Okay. What are the other features around sexagesimal systems? So we say that around a point, around a point, the angle is angle measure. Angle measure is angle measure is 360 degrees. You must be knowing it already that within a circle, let's say this is a point, this is the first ray. And let's say there are two coincident rays over, you know, here. And then one of the rays starts moving like that. Like that. Okay. And it is it is going anti-clockwise direction. Anti-clockwise direction. And after some time, it comes back to its original, original position. So hence, if you see, this full angle swept is nothing but 360 degrees. Okay. So the entire plane is divided into 360 degrees with respect to a given first line. Okay, so this is what is hexagesimal system. Now, there are other two systems which are very much in use. The second one is very much in use. The third one is uh, not that much in use. The second one is, is called angle uh, circular measure. Circular measure where what we say is uh, we measure the angle in terms of something called radians. Okay. Radians and uh, how do we define one radian? One radian is nothing but uh, the ratio of ratio of uh, arc length arc length of unit length or rather arc of unit length arc of 
unit length divided by radius of unit length what does it mean it means that you know what is an arc so if you take a circle let's say we have a circle okay this is a circle and this is a center and let's say this is this length let's say is one unit one unit and this radius also is of one unit then the angle described here is one radian okay so let's say the angle is theta okay so theta i'm saying is one upon one and this is the ratio isn't it ratio of arc length divided by the radius is one radian you will later on understand that in a sector for example in this sector this is this is called a sector of the circle sector of the circle so in a sector central uh, the angle subscribed inside the sector is nothing but arc length arc length divided by the radius okay this is another way of measuring angles this we will be uh, studying a lot in your higher grade so hence radians right so please re how, uh, remember what is the relation between radian and degrees so we say that 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees okay 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees this is the conversion relation so what will be let's say pi radian pi radian and we also denote it by small uh, only rad rad pi radians will be equal to nothing but 180 degrees half of it pi by 2 radians is equal to 90 degrees and so on and so forth okay one more interesting thing from here if you see what is if let's say arc length becomes full circumference so you will write 2 pi r is a circumference let's say arc length is the circumference you you are you are taking a arc which is a full circle let's say we are instead of considering only this we consider a full circle so when you consider full circle what is the arc length clearly the circumference which is 2 pi r and when divide by r you see what is the angle you get you get 2 pi which matches with the point that inside a circle the uh, the cent at the center the angle is 360 degrees isn't it so if you see this is what we get so when you take the full circumference you get two pi radians at the center which is equivalent to 360 degrees okay so please remember this conversion just for an example let's say if you have 45 degrees you can check 45 degrees is equal to pi by 4 radian okay there is one more uh, method of measuring uh, uh, angles and that is called centesimal system centesimal centesimal system what is what is centesimal system guys so in this case instead of we uh, we have a conversion factor like that that 90 degrees 90 degrees is considered to be equal to 100 grades okay 100 grades so basically we measure centimus centesimal system in grades right so we talk about angles and so hence for example a right angle right angle is 90 degrees is, is nothing but 100 grades okay similarly uh, 360 degrees or the angle inside a circle will be equal to 400 grades okay now this system is not very much in uh, vogue or uses uh, you know in the current era we use mostly um, the circular measure which will be you'll be seeing a lot of uses in your uh, academic uh, pursuits and uh, the degrees which you have been anyways using so far so these are the two system mostly in you know um, uses these days so so in this session we learned how to measure an angle and what was the use of or what is the use of measuring an angle so basically we need to quantify uh, two angles and then compare and then do lots of operations which we'll see uh, in the subsequent session so hence measurement of angle was necessary and we have three ways of measuring uh, angles 
okay in the in the in the uh, subsequent sessions we'll deal with how measurement of an angle and how other operations on angles are done